Thanks for your interest in Converge. Here's a quick demonstration of the workflow in Converge. In this video, you'll learn how you can gain valuable insight into your most difficult fluid flow design problems using Converge's simple setup and no user meshing time. And for this demonstration, I'll show an internal combustion engine, but the workflow is similar for any simulation of flow in a machine with complex moving geometry. And here's a quick outline of what we'll cover in this video. First, I'll talk about geometry preparation. Then, I'll go through the input file setup. Next, I'll show how to launch a converged simulation. And then, I'll close out the video by demonstrating a few simple post-processing techniques. First, import an STL file of your geometry into Converge Studio. Designate different portions of the surface as boundaries. Create a list of boundaries. Use fences and flag the boundaries. Use the surface repair tools in the geometry dock to fix individual holes or create simple portions of the geometry or you can use the Diagnosis dock to find many defects automatically. Then you can set moving parts, like the piston and valves, to their initial positions using the Geometry Translation tools. To set up the input files that will control your CFD simulation, use the Case Setup dock Choose Crank Angle Based and specify the dimensions and operating condition of your engine or rotating machine. Define materials, including gas, liquid, and parcel species. Define simulation parameters. These control the start and end times and the speed, accuracy, and stability of the flow calculations. Specify boundary conditions, regions, and initial conditions. Use these sections of the case setup to define boundary type, motion, temperature, and fluid velocity at boundaries, and to create and initialize the regions defined by boundaries. The flow between these regions is controlled by open and close events. If you're using any physical models, specify those model parameters in the spray modeling section for engines with fuel injectors, or the turbulence, combustion, and energy source models. Now here's where the magic of Converge happens. Instead of manually creating a mesh or relying on an accurate mesh template, you simply specify the base mesh size, choose some fixed embedding regions. This could also be embedding on boundaries, both fixed and moving. And then choose a few simple adaptive mesh refinement parameters. And that's it for meshing. All grid control parameters, that is, embedding and AMR, reference the base grid. So when you want a more refined or more coarse simulation, it is really as simple as changing the values of the base grid, and then you're ready to rerun the simulation. One last setup step. Pick which calculated flow values you'd like included in the cell-specific output files used to create contour plots in the output post-processing section. Next, you can validate your input files easily in Converge Studio. Green means good to go. When you have your input files and geometry ready to go, export your input files into a case directory of your choice, then with the executable and license saved in the proper locations, use a command line to launch your converged simulation 
from the case directory. Monitor the progress of your simulation by accessing the log file or by viewing live updated volume averaged output files using Converge Studio's line plotting module. You can plot these volume averaged output files also after the simulation has completed. You can also use Studio's line plotting module to compare results from different simulations and plot output from different output files all on one plot. When your simulation is done running, you are ready to post process. Open the post processing 3D module in Converge Studio and select the case directory, the output files, and the cell and parcel variables you would like to visualize and create post-processed files to use in the visualization software format of your choice. Once you have converted the output files, open the visualization program of your choice and easily display cross-sections showing the mesh that is automatically created by the Converge Solver. Create contour plots to clearly show areas with important flow characteristics and visualize the motion of spray parcels. Now you've seen how much time and effort you can save by eliminating the meshing step using Converge. Please visit convergecfd.com or follow us on social media to learn the latest about Converge. Thanks.